Hello dear viewers, I am glad to welcome you on the Savalmas channel. I am Alexander Sudriv and we are on the territory of the Savalmas testing area. Today's video promises to be very interesting and I suppose long awaited by many of our viewers and not only. Let's delve into the topic of the video. I will ask our specialist to assist me with that. In my hands I hold a clipping from the article in the Zelenograd newspaper 41 devoted to a visit of the voyeur community. It is the All-Russian Society of Inventors and Innovators. They visited various Zelenograd companies, talked to the management and tried to find points of mutual understanding, possible cooperation and so on. In fact, the article is called Anton Ishenko, Zelenograd has a huge potential, which I couldn't agree with more. And I will now read a fragment of this article. And the full article will be available at the link in the description. You can follow it and read the full piece. The fragment directly related to Sovelmos. The exchange of waypoints develops a new perspective, according to CEO of Sovelmos Dmitry Duinov. Of course, there is a slight discrepancy here, since the CEO of Sovelmos is Igor Yakovlev, and Dmitry Duinov is the project manager. Even vendors, businessmen, practitioners and theorists meet informally like this and their joint opinion is voiced in the media, it will get things rolling. A drop of water hollows out the stone. New developments will find it easier to make their way. Anton Ishenko proposed to hold a battle of electric motors in Zelenograd under the auspices of the Ministry of Industry and Trade to test the motors made by Savalmash and other manufacturers under the same conditions and compare their performance parameters. Voyer is ready to involve independent experts in this. We are interested in this particular segment, because in today's video, we will just talk about how it is organized, what Savalmash can provide and offer, and in what format all this can be organized. I am giving the newspaper back. It is no secret that Savalmash is engaged in developing electric rotating machines with the Slavyanka combined winding and these motors will be compared with the standard ones. In the course of the Savalmash activity, a test in laboratory was established. It should be noted that it is one of the most high precision laboratories, according to MacTroll, the manufacturer of complex metrology equipment. It is this laboratory that will become a platform and a place for conducting comparative tests for the battle of motors. In order to delve into this in more detail and show the place itself, we will now go with you directly to the laboratory. Well now, dear viewers, we are currently in the Savalmash testing laboratory. This is Yana Teplova, the laboratory employee who directly participates in the test and not only, in data processing too, well, in many, many other things. Yana, please tell us how this will all happen and why the new premises, how it will help us in the battle of motors. Sure, the battle will be in form of tests because this is the most appropriate way to compare different motors under the same conditions, on the same equipment, with the same procedure and methods. The motors we offer for testing are, first of all, general purpose industrial motors of common dimensions that you could see, traction motors for vehicles, and motors for electrical tools. This is what sparked interest, judging by the responses to the previous video. There are our own test procedures and methods that we offer. In particular, for general purpose industrial motors, the GHOST method is implemented that we use for traction motors and we also have our own methods for electric tools. Third-party experts who will also be here can offer their own procedures and methods. They can develop them together with us, approve them. That is, in any case, in the end, we must have the same approved procedures and methods for each motor type. The experts will be here too, in this room, in the laboratory. They will take a full-fledged part in the tests or observe them, monitor them, see the measurement results in real-time mode and participate in data processing, so that everything is fair. I will tell you what kind of room is this. The laboratory is developing, we eliminate the flaws, improve the parameters and characteristics, what we want to get, and as you know, we are going to undergo accreditation. In this room there will be employees, workstations, a measuring bench, measuring equipment, all controls of the bench will be located here. The surveillance of that room, the machine room with cameras and monitors. What we have left there is only things that are directly related to the benches, 
to the load units, the test items, the tooling and so on. Everything mechanical and electrical, what we need for testing. During the tests, no one can enter from the outside. The entrance is through this room. I mean the employees and experts can observe from here during the battle of motors and make sure that everything is okay, that everything is correct and valid, that everything meets the previously agreed procedures and methods. Yes, those that we are going to coordinate. Thank you very much for your comprehensive comment. And now, dear viewers, let's take a look at the motors that Savalmash is ready to provide, both its own original and the classic ones. Besides, if the third-party experts or another party is willing to present their motors that are comparable in the baseline parameters, they can also be brought to maintain the experimental integrity installed and tested, so that people would not say that we have some specially prepared ones, classic or not classic motors, or something else. You're welcome, we are ready to test and compare under the same conditions. Let's move on to the next room. And upon returning to the Savalmash testing area, let's deal with the modern models that Savalmash can offer for comparative testing. On my right hand, you can see the traction motor, which is part of the first batch of motors that are developed directly on the premises and manufactured using the capacities of both the testing area and other Savalmash shops. Look, here is a bench with classic motors including those modernized by applying the combined winding technology. So, for the battle of motors, we will provide the ADM and AIR series motors, both in their standard configuration and modernized by applying the combined winding technology. There are plenty of motor options, so there will be plenty of things to keep us busy. Well, since we've arrived to the Savalmash testing area, we will also offer you another option for comparison. Here you can see a car motor, this is a traction motor with Renault Twizy. This motor has standard winding, so it is completely standard and it will be compared with a motor rewound using our technology. In the light of the recent events that were announced in the expert time program by Dmitry Duinov and the announcement of the work with electrical tools, we will wrap up our today's video by demonstrating those samples of angle grinders USHM, that we have available to provide for testing in the battle of motors. These are Interskull, Dualt, Zuber. In fact, we can provide all these angle grinders in a standard configuration and compare them with those developments that have been received by the Savalmash specialists. Again, our highly respected experts, manufacturers, and those who have the opportunity to provide your models of handheld electrical tools for comparison. Please do, you are very welcome. This version is the angle grinder with the 230 disc and 2100 watt power. 2300 watt, 2600 watt ones are welcome. We will compare and test them, record all the results and demonstrate them further to the general public. That's all. Please subscribe to the channel, add comments, write what you think about it and certainly offer your own options. See you again.